M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the AOR DV10 with the latest firmware, which is 2037A, and I will provide a link to that download. You now have the option to install Tetra. On the site, this is what it says. By purchasing an activation key, your receiver will be able to import bookmark a name and tag Tetra Networks GSSI user group list and, and to selectively decode its voice communications, you will be able to seamlessly follow a particular group between slots and so on. Now, many of the ham radio sellers are selling this upgrade. I found it on the on the download link here. AOR Direct JP have the link, but you have ham radio sellers selling it as well. My conversion is about £55 UK to get the download. Once you've got the download, the way you enter the keys, you go to, if you look at my device here, just set up and I will also show you the firmware. You go to menu, go across to where it says trunk, press enter, and then go across to number nine with the right and left or press number nine actually. Then press enter and look, you've got your place there where you can enter the activation key. Now my question is, and I'll show you the firmware link as well, just go menu, Go across to config and to update the firmware, you literally s s drag the firmware file onto the SD card and then install. So we go to enter and then go all the way to the bottom. And you'll see, keep going. See my firmware there? It's 2307A. Now, if I had the firmware on my SD card, you would just go down further to system update press enter and it would find you know it's finding the 2307a file on my SD card now and then just press enter and it just loads it so that's a very easy update and remember the latest firmware works on all the AOR DV10 models so if you press clear let's go back to menu to trunk and then enter and that's where you enter the key so my question is to anyone that's got an AOR DV10 is have they tried this out is there anything to listen to in the USA or in the UK? Um, you know, is there any point to this? And also this upgrade is available for the DV1 as well. So someone let me know, is there any point? Bye for now, M0FXB and I'm here with M6LSJ Cheddar, 73.